Hey Webbings of Earth, it's Elias Moth, I'm back again with another book review. And this time it is a book review of um, a sort of biographical, autobiographical genre book called Woohoo Diary, The Mystery of My Daughter Lulu by Emily Prager. This is what it looks like, well this is what my copy looks like. Um, I got this book a few years ago. Uh, it belongs, in, of, as I said, it belongs in the autobiographical biographical genre. Um, although it's it's sort of more of a memoir, really, part memoir, part travelogue. There's some philosophy bits in it, um, so it's sort of kind of combined from those three. Uh, I bought this book from Waterstones. Um, I think I, uh, I think I stumbled across it while I was looking for another book. I do know at the time I was looking for a load of books which I didn't end up, oh, which I didn't end up buying for some stupid reason. Um, but yeah, uh, I've always had a really weird, I've always had a weakness for auto, kind of autobiographical books. Um, it's similar to my historical fiction books and fantasy genre because I. You know, as you know well, I'm a bit of a reader, a bit of a reading nut. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I've also, also, I've also had an interest in China. Um, I would like to go to China one day. You know, it, you know, it could be like within the next few years. I would like to go there one day. You know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, the. The, this is the book is about the author's trip to China, with her then five-year-old daughter, adoptive daughter Lulu, who is Chinese, um, and they're in search of Lulu's family history, um, you know, birth family history, um, to pretty much to find out, you know, who where she came from, sort of thing. Um, it's uh, I think. She explains it in the book that Lulu, question, when she tells her you're adopted, she quest, uh, Lulu questions it. So of course it le le leads to the trip. Um, you know, and of course along the way um, in the book they mention new friends, a load of ex new experiences, and the like. Um, uh, instead of it being in chapters, it's uh, in sections headed on the day. So pretty much it's like a day by day account of what exactly happens in the whole trip, um, which I think it, I think it gives it kind of like a time flow. So you kind of so with some books, um, especially with with these types of books, I think it's always good to kind of they usually split into two, one or two groups. Uh, the, the way this book is written, where it's it the the information is put into date order, so it, it each thing that happens is headed on the date it happens. And the other books, it's usually, and in the other section, it's usually each chapter is a specific thing that happens. Um, but this follows the first. This book follows the first one, which I, I kind of like anyway. Um, uh, yeah, the. And of course, it gives the book credibility. You know, it does give the book credence. And you know, uh, the book was published uh, October fifteenth, two thousand two, uh, by Vintage, the the publisher's Vintage. Um, I think there's there's been several variances on the title. I could be wrong, but I read I definitely read some there was variances on the title. I think there's variances of the cover as well. Um, I would recommend the book to anyone who loves autobiographies, um, or biographies, or you know these types of books in general. And I you know so you know if you wanna wanna read a book. That is is biographical. I recommend this book, the uh, Woohoo Diary: The Mystery of My Daughter Lulu and Emily Prager.